Good morning, everybody. I'm going to give Facebook a couple of seconds to catch up with us. Um, this is my second video of the day. First being, I got to show you some pretty new fabric that came in. Woohoo, I like them. Not so much that I like it, it's a surprise, but I like the new fabric. And hopefully you got to see, I posted again a reminder about um, Angel Gnome for the 100 Days Quilt Along. And that's an Australian designer who is our designer for the quilt that we're doing now. Um, and it's some really cool options. The pattern is $24 which is really not a lot considering what you're going to get. Um, and it goes from, let's see, I believe it's July 1st to October sometime, I think. Anyway, um, if you're interested, it's kind of cool. And it's just going to be um, more reinforcement of basic blocks. But it's, again, another great stash buster. If you'd like, you can make it multicolored. Um, not so much a stash buster if you want to do a couple of colors or three colors or whatever. But it still could get some fabric out of your stash. All right. Today's video, before we start the day, it's kind of crazy. Um, We've got 39 and 40 today. So here is 39. I'm going to get right into it. Hopefully you can see that. So that's block 39. It's fairly easy. What I'm going to do is do the center part first. And then we can put it together. Just gonna iron this. I'm going to iron, not that it really matters because there are no matching seams on either side, but I'm gonna iron towards this cream fabric, which is just a little bit darker than the white fabric. And hopefully uh, the noise from the roof, they've got uh, a radio blaring, doesn't interfere with the sound. Let me know if it does, hopefully it doesn't. Okay, now I'm just gonna do this side. Once you start with these blocks, I mean, they all go pretty fast and pretty easily. It really is a great way to um, master piecing in seam allowance, um, they're not difficult, especially when you go through and cut all the blocks in advance and just put them in a box. Yeah, I'll show you what I had. I'll show you what closed. Because I did this quilt twice. So I, I put them in these little sleeve protectors. They got little Ziplocs with the block number and just put them in order and was able to grab them as I need them. I love these little plastic um, sleeves for doing larger projects that you can fit all the blocks in. Oops, I just dropped my trash. Oops. So I've been in row by row craziness, or I should say quilters trek craziness, trying to get the rest of my kits done. It's been nuts, but I'm in the home stretch now, so I'm pretty happy. Now I'm gonna put these together and then all I'll have is the top and the bottom. Fairly easy row. Next week, we will have another row to sew together because these are blocks 39 and 40. So we'll have our next row 
which we will do. Hope everybody is having fun and still enjoying our little coat along. Not so little, I guess, with 100 blocks. But I like it. I'm hoping things slow down a little bit so I could do some other videos of some more fun tech stuff, like um, quilting of these. I really, really, really want to do that. I think it is going to be fun. I have one coat already together on this, which you can see when you come into the store. And I'm really going to have some fun with it. Maybe try out my new um, Julia Quilt Off Rulers templates that I received. Oops. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to do the bottom. For some reason, this one just doesn't want to go together the way I want it to. But that's okay. It will be fine. Nice thing about using a scant quarter of an inch is you can square up all the blocks, I mean. not looking perfect. It's one of the things that I try to push. There is no such thing as perfect. Done is so much better than perfect. Try and have some fun with this. It should be fun. Just like this one. And we'll be done. Yeah, today was an early day. I woke up at 2.30 in the morning and tossed and turned for about a half hour before I finally said, to heck with this, and got out. Well, it just doesn't want to go the way I want it to. So, yes, I got to work. It's gone on fairly early this morning. At about 3.30, I think. Which is kind of nice because it's nice and quiet. And I can get a few things done. I can literally spend 18 hours sitting at the computer and still have more to do between putting things in the computer and paying bills and ordering fabric and it's kind of crazy. Posting, to, you know, to Facebook and oh my goodness, there's so much I can do on that computer. And sometimes I have to force myself to get up because I can waste a whole day. And it's not like it's frivolous stuff. It's just business stuff. You know, ordering fabric, accounting, paying bills, um, research to figure out new classes, advertisements. You know, there's, there's a lot you can do. There we go. There's block 39. Now, all I'm going to do is trim that up to square it up and then we'll be ready to put the rest of the blocks together in this row next week, or I'll put them together in advance and we'll sew it to our quilt. Woohoo! Um, let's get to block 40. Here we go. And I've already done a little bit of work. So I've already sewed all these rectangles together in the top. And I've done a couple of the rows at the bottom. What I'm gonna do now is sew these together and then we'll do this part and sew the three pieces together. The easy part with this or the nice part is if you've been following right along and 
sewing them with me, you should be getting pretty good by now at lining up your seams. So my top seam is going that way. My bottom seam is going this way. My pin is grabbing the seam on this side and coming up on the seam on the bottom on the other side. And I purposely have my pin on an angle. Hopefully you can see that. See how far the it's on an angle? That is so when I'm sewing this way, because I know I'm gonna be sewing this way, I can stop with my needle down in the seam before I take my pin out. Believe it or not, the act of, of um, hold on a second. I just wanna double check something. <laughs> Wrong way. I think sometimes you gotta be careful. I get so good at talking that I forget. There we go. Sometimes the act of pulling the pin will be enough to put the seam off and it won't meet. Your seams won't align and that's frustrating. So here we go. Just wanted to make sure I had the pin on the right side so I don't sew it upside down. There we go. I know some of this, if you've been following right along, is repetition, but those of you who are just joining us or haven't seen all of them from the beginning, it's probably helpful information. Nice thing about this one is every single block is different. Just like um, her newest quilt along that's going to be starting on July 8th, which is 100 blocks and 100 days. I posted a link for that one. Okay. They line up pretty well. I like them. Can you iron it? Anybody out there getting excited about Quilter's Trek? There's some really cute ones out there, I'm telling you. I think there's some cute ones. I always find, that's my problem. I like them all. I always find rows and kits that I like to buy. And I do buy. Just gonna change these a little bit. I don't know. I think this year's quilters truck is going to be, unless they change it drastically, it's probably going to be my last. I think people are getting, they're over it to have enough. Hopefully, maybe next year there'll be something completely different. But I think with everything going on this last year and a half or so, it's a little bit different. I'll have to wait and see how this year turns out. But I am super excited about my new license plate. Deborah and Gary did an amazing job copying um, and making my plate match my row. It's really cool. So those hopefully will ship. I'm hoping later this week. At the end of this week, or at the very least, early next week. All right, almost done with this part. And then we'll put the three rows, the three parts of it together. So if you haven't seen that one, take a look. It's really cute. I like it. I was super excited.
one more and then we'll put them together. I'm really tickled pink I have any scanning. I mean, not tickle pink that I have to buy one because I pretty much worn out my other one, but kind of cool to get a new one. I'm looking forward to playing with it. The problem is I haven't had a chance. I've been too busy. Okay. So now on this one, I'm going to iron these two seams towards this center block because these two seams are going out and these two seams are going out. I haven't really had, I mean, I've done some of the work as far as setting it up and getting it registered and downloading some free stuff. But first thing I'm going to try on it, I think, is the pre cut, uh, the um, heat transfer vinyl from my row. And what's kind of exciting is, compared to my previous scanning cut, is this one has an auto blade function. So the blade, basically, if you haven't seen a scanning cut, I posted my new one. The blade that is used for cutting, previously we had to set the depth and the pressure on the blade. And now it's an auto blade. So I'm assuming, and I haven't gotten that far yet in my reading because it's been a little crazy, but I'm assuming that I can tell it what I'm cutting, meaning vinyl, and it will, or, or it senses, there's a, or either that or there's a sensor in there that will automatically sense the thickness um, on the mat and it will automatically adjust the depth of the blade cut. So we're going to try. I haven't gotten quite that far yet. Hopefully soon. It's fun. Um, I'll tell you right now, it's what's made my uh, row by row and quilters trek kits so popular because I cut pre-cut so much of it for you. Um, which I like anyway. I like easy, so. All right, get that thread out of there. Okay, here we go. So now we're gonna line these two seams up. And then once I'm done with there, we're gonna line these two seams up. Almost done for this week. And then we're almost, we're at block 40, so that's, pretty far in, not quite half yet, but we're getting there. All right, one more thing to do, and this week's blocks are done. Just gotta iron it. There you go. I wish I had employees sometimes. Most of the time, I'm okay with it, but sometimes. You know, it would be nice to have a couple of employees or even one to help out so that I could get a little bit more fun sewing and demos out because I'd be itching to get on the long arm and show you more. I really am. There's just only so much time in the day and there's never enough. In the blink of an eye, guess what? It's 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. The older I get, putting in those midnight hours and getting up at the 
first thing in the morning doesn't necessarily work much better. The older I get, the harder it is to do that. So I've been really pushing myself to make sure I'm out of here by 8.30. It's just, I keep looking at the clock. I feel like I'm racing against the clock. All right, block 40. Here is block 39 and block 40. There we are. Next week, we'll have another row to put onto our quilt. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I enjoyed putting it together. Um, if there's something else that you want me to do, let me know and we'll see what we can do. I can't guarantee I can always accommodate everybody with classes and things like that, but I will try. All right, time for me to get going and start my day officially with opening the doors fairly soon. If you need anything, you know where I am, please don't hesitate to comment or send me an email or call. And I will see you guys later. It's Stitch and Bitch Day today. Don't forget. Talk to you later. Bye.